How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be recreating a scene from the first episode of the second season of The Mandalorian. If I'm being completely honest, I am not all that stoked with the end result of this project. I think I could have made it a lot cooler. I don't think I executed it very well. But uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. So please don't leave any mean comments. I will get back to doing LEDs and other more sophisticated projects soon. After I had the shape of the base cut out, I began putting together the cave that the crate dragon lives in using some XPS foam and hot glue. then sculpted the rock face as well as widening the mouth of the cave. Then used some nail hole filler to hide some of the cracks between the pieces of the foam. After that, I sanded down all of the sides smooth and I applied a layer of Mod Podge and paint to help protect this for when I prime it. I also added a little bit of very fine sand to help add a little bit of texture to the base. To build the crate dragon, I used an app called Forger. It's for the iPad and it is a 3D sculpting software that worked really well. I used a reference photo and was pretty easily able to make a good replica of the crate dragon. I also, with the app, created a Bantha and a Tuscan Raider running for his life. Put the files on the 3D printer and let it do its thing. Then moved on to painting the terrain. In order to make this look a little bit more realistic, I painted on all the shadows instead of allowing the diorama to cast the shadows itself. This helps make it look a little bit more realistic even though the shadows are fake. I dry brushed on the final highlight, and then I went back with some black 3.0 to really sell the depth of this cave. The print was done, so I took those off. I rinsed them and cured them. I printed some extra Tuscan Raiders. Bantha turned out pretty well. The only thing that was missing was some of the bottom teeth on the dragon. Otherwise, pretty happy with everything. I then began painting all the miniatures with their respective colors. I finished up the detailing on the Tuscan Raiders as well as the ink wash and shading on the dragon. I reapplied some sand to the base. Felt like this looked a lot better than the sand I had painted on. I also used some sand to hide the dragon and help him blend into the diorama a little better. I made some little footprints in the sand where the raider and the bantha walked up. And then I glued them in place, 
applied a little bit more of that shadow before gluing it to the acrylic. Called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great week. I will see you next time.